Oh, welcome back. We are Two Finger Spirits. We got the live studio audience. I think the camera shy camera guy's around here somewhere. Camera guy? Color guy? Eh, we'll do it without. Now I'm here. Oh, here he is. I see him now. So today we got a bottle from our good friend, Gary the Best. That's what we'll call him from now on. Gary the Best. He is the best, huh? Yeah, DC the best. He gave us the Highland Park uh, oh, no, the Vikings good. Honor, which was, I yes. think, a 12 year. That was really good. We'll link that somewhere. It's right right there, around yeah, there, yeah. <laughs> so today he brought us the Highland Park Cask Strength. This thing comes in at a whopping 127.8. You see me looking? Yeah. I don't want to get it wrong. I, I, I like to be right. So 127.8, and it's a. I'm going to the Nashville level, 100% malted barley, you know, it's from Scotland. It is 100% malted barley. So this is exciting for us to get something at this high proof in 100% malted barley. Yeah, because it's not too many, it's a lot of scotches are, you know, 80 proof. They're all 80 proof. We love that Laphroaig uh, cash strength. Yeah. Um, but that's still coming at like 110. Yeah, it's still pretty low. Uh, and Ardbeg, I think, has a few cash strength. That Oogledal might be a cash strength, but yeah, it's still like, low. Like, like 103 or something. Yeah, yeah. So, uh... And, and uh, I don't know if they peat this one, but their peat is different over there in, on the Orkney Island. It's because uh, they, they, they burn the decomposed heather, which is different than the peat in, uh, What'd you do? in Isla. <laughs> <laughs> Heather's a nice purple flower. Um, so the thing about this one, though, is th this is the second year if they've done this, and it's a little different than last year. I didn't get to taste last year, but this is the second release, the second year they've done it, and this time it's done in sherry seasoned european and american ex bourbon barrels now i believe the ex bourbon barrels actually housed sherry after so the european barrels that housed sherry i believe and ex bourbon barrels that housed sherry if that makes any sense to you it makes plenty of sense so there's no age statement on this one all right it is 100 percent malt barley all right and the price is around 95 dollars expensive but not, not so bad for a cash drink you know i wish there was an age statement but we'll we'll do without i believe there's no color added but that being said let's talk about the color let's talk a little bit about the color all right this is a absolutely beautiful for a, a, a scotch we got a russet musket at a 1.3 and for those of you that aren't sure what scale i'm referring to this is the scale developed by the great charles McLean, and it's the colors of whiskey chart, and it's used worldwide. Is it? Well, one more thing before we finish this up. Uh, Brandon, always trying to talk during my segment. What's that thing behind you? Oh, I was oh. wondering if you were going to ask oh, me about it, that. It looks like trash. No. I, think, I think you left your trash behind no, you. No, no, no. This is a, a, a write-in from one of our very favorite viewers. You want me to read this comment? Yep. This is from B.D. Wilcox. Love that guy. Yeah, we love him. We love him. The color segment is the worst. Oh. Well, if you cut it out, what would the CSG, what would the CSCG do in life? I vote we leave it in as an act of mercy, if nothing else. See, See that's why I love him. I love that's him. why I love him yeah. so much. Huh? Nobody knows what that yeah. color segment is. People use the words honey. This is like a nice amber honey. Well, when I was an amateur, I was using words like honey, amber, gold. You mean stuff that everybody knows? Now I use, now that I'm sophisticated, I graduated from the official color school of color. Fasisticated? Now, yeah. Fasisticated. Yeah, but now I'm fasisticated. <laughs> now I use a real color scale. Oh, my Charles Man, I tell you. But tell thank you, BD. Yeah, thank you, BD. We love you. <laughs> uh, you want to get right into the nose? I do. This is a full bodied malted barley. It's has a phenomenal nose. It has a phenomenal nose. Wow, this is what every scotch should taste like. Be careful, because your first nosing of this, you could burn it up. So go, hi, how are you? Oh, I'm just breathing deep, it's so, it smells so good. I get a little bit like an orange peel on it too. Yeah, I get raisins, orange peel, sherry bomb. Oh, it's awesome. Oak, oh, and like, <clears throat> Composted leaves mm. or composted like mm. lawn clippings. Mm. You're already on the palate. It's unbelievable. It bit me the first time. I, I, I... Mm. 
right now. Mm. But I'm telling you, it's got a mouth feel of like, it's almost like an oily mouth feel. Mm -hmm. You could definitely, you know, feel the proof on it. And it's so delightful. It's like, a, it's that full body malted barley. It's every scotch should, should be a cast drink. This is so good. I do prefer a cast drink. Uh, there's so much flavor here. There's so much. It's very bold. It's very robust. Yep. Um, but as far as notes, I definitely get the sherry. Mm. I definitely get raisins and brown sugar. Definitely that nice, rich barley. Mm. On the finish, I get some cigar tobacco, mm. which I really love in whiskey. I'm not a cigar smoker, but I love the smell of, you know, unburnt cigar right. tobacco. Not a sweet tobacco. No. No, not a sweet tobacco. And I, if, I, if I was a cigar smoker, I bet you this would pair really well with a nice cigar. Mm. The, the cool guys call them sticks. A nice stick is what they call it. But I'm not cool, so I won't say it. No one's going to debate that. <laughs> <laughs> um, cigar smoke, tobacco. No, cigar tobacco, not cigar smoke. Black licorice. It's hot on the swallow, mm -hmm. but only on the first swallow. It's hot on the nose, but only on the first nose. Uh, Gary himself, I think, liked the uh, the Vikings honor better, but he's he doesn't drink a whole lot of high proof stuff. Right. He did like that. Uh, we had that Coy Hill or the single barrel Jack Daniels. He and he did like that. Um, but I think, I, think, I think on a second try of this, I think he might like it better, especially after watching our videos, because we enlighten people. Well, no, now the bottle's empty. I'm sure he'll do it. No, he, he poured some <laughs> himself, because I guess you finished the first bottle he gave us at that Viking's Honor, so he kept some behind. Oh, me. Oh, it was, it, it it's a live good. studio audience, right? She's not here to defend herself right now. <laughs> uh, very good, right? Very good. How about the finish? We skipped it. No, I said I got the uh, I got some ginger on it. I got some mm. uh, c cigar tobacco. I got licorice and uh, a little bit of smoke. There's a little bit of smoke. Very minimal at best. Yeah, it's delightful. And I'm not sure if this one is peated the way they peated the Vikings Honor, which was with the uh, the heather. Mm. Uh, so let me ask you. If you saw this on the shelves, would you buy this? For ninety ninety five, I would buy this definitely again. Um, I'd love to keep it in stock, but there's so many that I want to keep in stock. I'd have to be picky or choosy, but I would buy this regularly if I could find it at MSRP around ninety ninety five. Right. What about you? Without a doubt, I wouldn't. You know, I think a ninety five dollar bottle is hard to keep in stock, but I would like to buy it again. And especially if I have a friend over that really loves scotches, I would love to give them a, a cast strain. Multi barley that, that really, you know, this will blow your mind. Yeah, this is a great scotch. I really like I it. I think everyone should try this. Even if you're not a big fan of scotch, because you know what? This could turn you on. It's got that full body. It really does. It really does. How about a quote? Uh, you want a quote? Yeah. Comfort is a drug. Once you get used to it, it becomes addicting. <laughs> Give a weak person consistent stimulus, good food, cheap entertainment, and they'll throw their ambitions right out the window. The comfort zone is where dreams go to die. Well, I hope everyone is getting really comfortable in their dreams are dying while they're watching our channel. <laughs> <laughs> Stay comfortable, my friends. That's for, from uh, Carl Jung, or Carl, Carl Jung, I think they pronounce it, uh, Carl Jung. So, he's a smart guy, smart guy, a lot smarter than us. I wonder what kind of whiskey he liked. I bet you he'd like this. I, I bet you he'd subscribe to our channel. I bet he would. Carl, if you're out there. He's obviously watching. Friend. Is he still alive? No. no. <laughs> He's hanging out with Freud. <laughs> Everyone, cheers. Thank you so much for coming and joining with us. Cheers, We're putting everybody. out videos every Wednesday at 4 o'clock. Check them out. Cheers. Cheers, everybody.